Hello everyone, welcome back with me, Ahmad Nanaima Rafi, or you can call me Rafi. Today, I will describe about two questions in computer architecture book that my lecturer already given. So, let's check it out. This is the first problem, problem 3.1. The hypothetical machine of figure 3.4 also has two I.O. instructions. 0011 equal to load AC from IO 0111 store AC to IO in this case. The 12 bit address identifies a particular IO device. Show the program execution using the format of figure 3.5 for the following program. First, load AC from device 5 to add contents of memory location 940. And three, store AC to device six. Assume that the next value retrieved from device five is three and the and the location 940 contains a value of two. So before I answer this question, I will try to explain about how the memory works. So this is the figure 3.5. As you can see over here in the step one, there is memory and CPU registers. In memory also contain an address like 300 over here and the value. As you can see over here, 300 has 1940. And we have CPU registers. It also contain PC, AC, and IR. PC means is program counter, AC is accumulator, and IR is instruction register. So I will show you how this program, uh, this program works. First is the memory. As you can see, the memory address is 300, so it means the CPU register is 300. And the value of memory 1940, it, it's, it's in IR, in IR, I mean. Then how we can get AC, right? So for the AC, uh, firstly, we have to make sure the first the first number here one actually there there are there are three number that, that has a meaning the first is one it means load two is it means store and five it means add here we have one it means we will uh, load the variable, the value of memory 940 in AC. No, no, it's it's not in AC. Uh, I mean, we load uh, the first numbers mean uh, we will add an address of 940 in the memory. Like that, it it's 940, it's come here, 940. And 0003, it's from the address. Right? After, after that, after we get 940 is 003, we, we go to the step two. The step two is, 940 003 from here to here so the value of 003 will add in ac like that before we we don't know about the value of ac so after after do this the step we can know the ac the first ac then we get the first ac and then we get 0003 of AC. So actually, we only repeat this step, right? After we get the AC, 
we go to the step three. Here you can see the the CPU register is three zero one. So we we will focus in this three zero one. Its content of the value of memory is five, nine, four, and one. Then it's it is the value of IR and from the 941 because this is the five the, the first number is five it means add and 941 is the value of IR so 941 we go we focus over here it's contained 0002 then we go to step four to change the value of AC then 941 to it means over here you can see five like like the step before like this two three plus two equal to five then we get five as IC after that we focus on uh Okay, then we focus on this because the CPU register is 302. Then we move to step five, looking for the address of 302, like over here. And the value of uh, address 302 is 2941. Then the IR is 2941, same. And because the first number is two, it means it store the value of 941 to it means it will store the value 941 then we go to the 941 address of okay, 941 contains 0002 then we move to step 6 yes same as before 941 it contains 0005 then it will be the ac value like that yeah, i think it's only repeating the the step from step one step two like that so i think it can be easy easy to understand uh okay here is the answer from be, uh, be, uh question before for the okay this is the the answer from the question in the question we can see that first is load ac from device 5 add contents of memory location and 40 and 3 store ac to device 6 assume that the next value retrieved from device 5 is 3 and the location and 40 contains a value of 2 using the step that i explained before I can conclude the answer like that because memory contents in hex is 300, 3005, 301, 5940, and 302, and 7006. So the step one, it could be 3005 in AR, in AR and 3 in AC, and 5, 5940 to the IR for step three and for the step four, three plus two equal to five store in AEC and the step five, seven zero zero six store to AR and the step six AEC is device six like that. Okay, we are going to the problem 3.2. The program execution of feature 3.5 is described in the text using six steps. Expand this description to show the use of the MAR and MBR. Okay, this is my answer. For the first, the PC contains 300, the address of the first instructions. This value is loaded into the MIR. The value in location 300, which is the instruction with the value 
1940 in hexadecimal is loaded into the MDR and the PC is incremented. These two steps can be done in parallel. See the value in the MDR is loaded into the IR. Second, the address portion of the IR940 is loaded into the MAR. Then the value in location 940 is loaded into the MBR. The value in the MBR is loaded into the AC. Three is the value in the PC301 is loaded into the MAR. The value in location 301, which is the instruction with the value 5941, is loaded into the MBR and the PC is incremented. The value in the MBR is loaded into the AR. The four, the address portion of the IR 941 is loaded into the MAR. The value in location 941 is loaded into the MBR. The value of the AC and the value of location MBR are added and the result in, is stored in the AC. Five, the value in the PC 302 is loaded into the MAR. The value in location 302, which is the instruction with the value 2941, is loaded into the MBR and the PC is incremented. The value in, the value in the MBR is loaded into the AR. The address portion of the IR941 is loaded into the MAR for six number and the value in the AC is loaded into the MBR. And see the value in the MBR is stored in location 941. So that's all from my explanation about two question. I hope I hope you can understand about my explanation and see you next time. And then thank you.